Yes, Tammy and Drew Waltz went from a family of two to a family of six overnight. In 2016, the Waltzes hosted four orphaned Ukrainian siblings for four weeks over the holidays. They quickly fell in love with these three brothers and one sister and the special bond they shared with each other. So they made a life-changing decision for them all. Here's how they shared the news with their friends and family. We're adopted! <gasps> You're adopted! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Aunt Dar. I'm your Aunt Dar. Oh Are you serious? <laughs> Say congratulations, you're adopting four kids. Congratulations, you're adopting four kids. You are? You are? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> you're gonna be a great grandma times four. We're adopting. <laughs> oh, I'm already a mess, man. Please welcome the Walsh family, mom and dad, Tammy and Drew, and their children, Alina, Evan, Archer, and Sasha. Oh hello, beautiful goodness. family. Well, hello. Welcome. What a beautiful family. Thank you so much. Thank y'all for We've being never here. utilized the entire couch. I know. I love it. Here Tammy, we Drew, how did y'all all meet? How did this all come about? Yeah, so we started hosting through Open Hearts and Homes for Children. Uh -huh. And um, they put up photo listings of children from Ukraine and Latvia that are able to come over for hosting. So usually they come for about five weeks. And um, we saw a picture of a boy uh, right there, Evan. And uh, we thought, wow, he's so cute. And my husband was like, we have to host this kid. We have to bring yeah. him here. And uh, then we found out he had a sister. And we were like, OK, we have to bring them here. <laughs> yeah. And then because we're adoption minded and we knew that we were really open to that, we were like, is there anything else we should know? And they said, yes, they actually have two more brothers. <laughs> and we were, at that point, we were already sold. Our hearts were already committed. So yeah. adoption was always something you guys wanted to do, right? Oh, absolutely. This was, a, this was your path. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Absolutely. How did you adapt to this new life changing? I mean, you, you, you went from just you guys to having six people in the house. How do you adapt to that? Uh, it's difficult. <laughs> I mean, I think we, we thought we had it figured out, and then we hit sports. So <laughs> now we uh, come home from work, and we do the shuffle. You pick them up here, and then I'll, I'll take them here, and we'll switch here. And What sports yeah. do y'all play? Baseball. 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 Awesome. Baseball. When did you know, like, when did you decide when you knew that you were going to adopt these babies? I think, I think we fell in love with them as soon as they came for Christmas. But it really, when we had to send them back after Christmas and knowing that we were sending yeah. them back to an orphanage and it was just, you know, it was gut-wrenching for us. And I think yeah. we spent some time just Crying. Walking around the house <laughs> yeah. and everything was quiet and yeah. there was no. After. I think the lack of noise was probably the hardest thing. Yeah. As yeah. much as it was like, wow, this is really overwhelming when it was happening, after it was gone, you just were like, wow. You miss it. Yeah. How'd you Absolutely. tell the kids the good news? Can I answer that? Yeah, we, uh, one day, whenever they were with us over the summer, we hosted them a second time. So we brought them all in and set them on the couch like this, and I think they thought they were in trouble for something because <laughs> they were all running around being crazy. So they were. They were excited, and then once we explained it, they were very happy, and they were yeah. just like, this is awesome. But yes, also nervous, right. you know, just like, what does this all mean? Right, and, right. Yeah. You know, not Absolutely. understanding, okay, do we go back, then come, you yeah. know, just all of that. It's a huge lifestyle change. Yeah. And was sure. there a language barrier? Did you guys have to learn English? Yeah. 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 <laughs> really? Did you guys have issues saying, like, communicating with them and saying, like, oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. I mean, we were actually just talking about it recently. We had to use a translating app all the time. You know, Archer was actually just telling me the other day, he said, Mom, isn't it crazy that now we can talk and you're not having to use your phone? And <laughs> like, yeah, it's amazing. You know, we'd have to use short sentences. And we learned quite a bit of Russian. Right. Um, and it was pretty funny. I'm sure they laughed at us a lot about that. <laughs> <laughs> How do you all feel about your new family? Good. 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 How have the kids changed your lives? You know, I think our lives are so much fuller. Okay. And really, Aww. they've impacted our faith in so many ways, you know. Not only have we impacted their lives, they've impacted our lives. It's not just a one-way street here, you know? They've changed us. <laughs>